What's up guys? Welcome to day four of Train With Lance. This is your acclimation week. Today we're working your core. This is not a very hard workout, uh, but we want to get your core used to what's coming. So first thing we're going to do, Renee's going to drop down and we're going to do mountain climbers. So we've got five moves here. Each move you're going to do 45 seconds, then you're going to rest for 30. So let's go down showing mountain climber. Remember, very important, you want your wrists, elbows, shoulders in line. Renee, show them what a lot of people do, what you do. What do you do when you start to get tired? You should slide back like this, right? So a lot of people will slide back. We want to make sure you keep those shoulders right above your wrists. All right, go ahead and show them mountain climber. Good. Show them modified mountain climber. So modified, you're just bringing each foot up and you're just stepping up. You're not really using, you're using your core, but just not as much with the elevation, so. All right, you're gonna do that for 45 seconds. Rest for 30. Then you're gonna go to physio ball rollouts. So let's show them that. Now, if you don't have a physio ball, you can just hold low plank, or if this is too hard, you can, this is deceptively hard. So you're just gonna push your hands out, your elbows out, and bring your elbows in. Now, we wanna keep everything locked. Remember, you guys have to keep your entire body locked on when you do moves like this, when you do moves like pull-ups, um, if you don't, you'll create energy leaks or energy gaps, and that's where your body's trying to compensate and, and balance something, and it'll send all the energy to there, so it'll make the movement a lot harder. So lock everything up, lock your quads, your glutes, and then just roll your elbows out and bring it back in. Elbows out, and you don't have to go far, do you, Renee? No. <laughs> you feel it instantly, right? Okay, good. You're gonna try to do that for 45 seconds. You probably won't be able to. Do your best. Rest 30 seconds. Next we have bird dog. So again, we're just we're gonna work a little bit of balance here, but also we're working the back side of your core. So you're gonna take a weight in one hand, and your opposite leg is gonna go out, and your opposite arm is gonna go up. And then you're gonna bring your elbow to knee, not hand to knee. Everybody wants to bring hand to knee. Bring that elbow to your knee and squeeze really hard. Good. And when you press that leg out, you're going to dorsiflex your foot, and you're going to, which means pulling your toe towards you, so you stretch this, flex this, and then you're going to bring that heel up, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Don't just sleepwalk through the movement, really try to squeeze those muscles. So you're going to do one side for 45 seconds, rest for 30, do the other side for 45 seconds. You're not going to need much weight here, right Renee? Five pounds probably is good for most of you. Yeah. Um, all right, then we're going to rest 30 seconds, then you have Russian twists. You can do this with a med ball if you want, with a dumbbell, or just uh, with no weight, it's fine. So go ahead and show them Russian twists. Good. Modification of this is going to be you're just going to put your feet down. And that's going to be a little bit easier. Another modification of this, you're going to put your feet straight out on the ground. And you're just going to hug yourself. And you're just going to lean back and you're going to feel your core engaged. Just that might be enough for some of you. Now, some of you, if you feel this in your lower back, go ahead and stop this movement. Anytime you feel anything in your lower back, go ahead and stop. So that's your Russian twist. 45 seconds, rest 30. And then we've got oblique raises to finish off. So oblique raise, you're going to be on your side. You're going to drive your hips up as high as you can, almost to the ground. Bring it almost down and then back up. Good, and we're gonna do one side for 45 seconds, rest for 30, flip over to the other side. Modification for this, this is gonna be hard for a lot of you. The modification for this, you're gonna bring your knees down, go ahead and bend your legs, and you're gonna do it from this position. Now go ahead and do that, oblique raise. It's gonna be a lot easier, but it's gonna get your body primed and ready for next week. Good, all right, there you go. Do as many rounds as that as you want. Um, two, three, even one is probably fine just to get your body ready for next week.